Welcome back to another edition of Audio Fiend. So today, we got Meek Mill. Woo-wee. We got Meek Mill. I'm sure everyone that's a fan of hip-hop has seen what's going on with him. Did he do it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it's not looking good for Son. Either way, don't use this as a time to forget the great music Meek has delivered us over the years. It's been slow as of late. You won't hear that me. You won't hear me lying about that. And Meek's certainly not my favorite of artists. And I probably sided with Drake over him in the beef. Probably. Okay, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> Who didn't? The people that thought they were dream chasers, yeah, a.k.a. Okay. the dick chasers. Okay. That's what they call them now. That's crazy. That's what they call them now. That's crazy. But I don't deny the, the fire music that Meek was giving us for a time, man. The fire music. So I always willing to give him a chance when it comes to musically. Unless he did it. Look, man. The last time he gave us a good song was Rico. Now, what about that song he had with uh, Shaq and Kobe with Rick Ross? That was a pretty good song. No, it wasn't. It was pretty good. Did you listen to it again after? No, but when I heard it, I appreciate it. You heard it places? What'd you hear? We were playing some streams, you know? Right. They played it on ESPN. Look, that's not what we run to when we think, oh, this is the good meat music that we've gotten all these years. It's not. The last time we got something from that nigga was Rico. Well, anyway, we're going to do all five songs. We're going to check out the whole EP. Why not? So, if you watch this video... Please watch the next. And don't forget to like, and don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado, let's hit it. I'm back on that dream chaser shit, man. Fuck it. Loyalty brings forth one. Forever. Uh, I uh, Lamborghini through the hood just to motivate the trenches. Riding around like it's all good, even though I know these niggas vicious. All this cash, they say I change. If niggas broke, I get suspicious. That's my dog from back in the day, but I'm gonna go with my extension. I bring my F and N to any city I ain't checking in. Mm. Should they ain't hear me, I said let me in. Was at the door, why I ran in the poor? Now we jumping out them things in Dior. Brand new Rolls Royce, the umbrella shit, it came in the door. They never thought that we'd take it this far. She a baddie, tiptoeing all on the marble, it ain't a sand on the floor. They never thought that we'd make it this far. Cause I was down bad, now it's mansion with the palm trees. Woo! Child city, that's just me and Ruby, shit beyond me. I ain't even prayed to live this way. Oh, this is Meek. I mean, it has to be Meek, right? This is Meek. I'm looking around, there's gotta be a future. That's what I was thinking, bro. Oh. No. <laughs> looking at the Gs, but I don't see any other name. You know, another, you know, tidbit, another note is that Meek now... I guess owns all his stuff. He's at the deal. And he owns all his stuff now. Okay. That's something he made very apparent on his little Twitter tirade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They only come out with these stories when I own my music. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> shut your mouth. Hey, shit. Well, look what they did to Tori. They came out with this story because some dude felt like he got scammed and he pointed at you and he said, you got them shots. That's why he came out with this story. Had nothing to do with you own your music. He just said the same thing about Usher too. But I would like to say, even though I'm surprised at the singing that I'm hearing, I don't like it. Hater. No, this song's been really good so far. It's making me understand, oh, Meek is really still talented at making music. You have to understand something, my man. I'll never get along with it. I don't like Lil Durk's music. It sounds like pain beats. Yes, bro. You can't just say any piano sounds like a pain beat now. Well, it's not about the pain beat. It's it's just about the style. Like this style of singing with the auto tune, and it'll never do anything. For I'm gonna me. play it back. Get the full effect. This fuck, cause I was down bad. Now it's mansion with the palm trees. Chopper to the jet, just me and Ruby. Shit beyond me. I ain't even prayed to live this way. This shit can't foul me. Caught a million on my lefty, perfect timing. Cause what's the problem to a schedule that keep changing? Remember, I was down bad. Ain't nobody do no favors. I'm like, where was y'all at? When I was grinding, it's them cave down. Guess it all was worth it. Circle God swallow ever since I got Boston. Realest nigga breathing and you know I'm going top 10. I remember stressing over who's the 
them as options. Made it through it all, so this ain't no sad song, shit no way. No, this ain't no sad song, shit no way. No, this ain't no sad song, shit. Mama dry your tears, they just kidding, that's some bullshit, okay? Whoa, only big dog shit, big dog. Only big dog shit, big boss. Only big boss shit, big boss. Only big dog shit. See, this is what I mean when I be talking about the autotune dudes. I think it was on the Chet video we were talking about it, and you know, I'm like, it takes skill to be able to really do this style, you know, top level. And you can tell Meek doesn't have the brain for singing. So, on this course, there were points where he could have put more passion and pain in the way he singed it, especially when he repeated the lines, but he just didn't. Because he just probably doesn't know how. That just doesn't come to his brain. When you listen to people like Lil Uzi, people like Future, people like Travis, people like Sofago, they know how to do those kind of things. They know how to take their voice with the autotune into those ranges. I'm not the biggest Sofago fan. Even Lil Durk too. Lil Durk knows how to do it. But the first two people that you said, and the last one, I think they make trash music. Now, Travis Scott, I don't really see it. I don't really see it. He'll usually do like a low kind of croon, kind of uh, spacey, um, like it's coming from underneath you. Maybe it's rumbling, but it's not like... Like even Future and, and Uzi, they don't really sing. In the same way that Lil Durk would, or like Meek Mill was trying to, in this Lil Durk be like singing, bro. Uh, that's why. Know, that's why know. he sings songy. He's that's melodic. no, no. That's why on Exo Tour Life he goes, I don't really care if you die. And the last hook when he does it again, that's true. That's true. That's why. And it, and he it needed that. It needed but, some of that. I hear what you're saying. I I understand the point that you're making, but I don't hear what you. Are hearing when you say he could have. It sounded fine to me. It sounded like he did exactly what he needed to I'm do. Because I'm audio engineer, man. Oh, I know how to make a movie. So now he wants to, I know how to make a move. Now he wants to bring out his credentials. Slitty, cause I'm me go me and two free goes. I hit them both like free throws. Bad little bitch right there with the lights on shit, be boosting my ego. I come through no surge with the pipe on shit like a real nigga Chico. You come through, try stuff with your eyes on y'all, mm. bitch nigga get Debo. Mm hmm. New Dior, hit the store. Pie it all, then we hit in the Lord. Hey. Nigga rain don't slip on the floor. Stack paper, get more. I can pop my shit on the floor. Clear port like we all aboard. Touch down like we on a tour. Let's get it. Mm hmm. Shorty your stripper, you see a white tip of that pussy get water, cause she ever drip. Fucking her better, she telling her friends we fucking her gabba, cause she ever nigga. I'm in the trenches, I jump at the bins, these niggas can touch some of the killers. Real stabbers. I only really want fun with the hitters. Is she a real nigga? Yeah, Meek. He's a real nigga. He, he got lit. Huh? He got lit, so he's giving a clout. Shawty a stripper. No way. Fucking her better. She telling her friends we fucking together because she a real nigga. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did he do it? Did he do it? Did he do it? <laughs> nah, that's not. Yo, is that what it's going to be? I can't help myself because I'm a degenerate. But you think that's how everyone's gonna think about anything? He's, everything he says, he's not been sussified. He's got to clear his name. <laughs> <laughs> you got to clear your name. He's got to explain that video in the pool where he's oh. cooling off the cakes. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta explain the video where you scream in the hall. You, ah, he do, does that. I have never seen that one. <laughs> you gotta explain the bunny hopping. Bunny hopping is crazy. He's got a lot of freaky work out there, man. A lot of freak nigga work, he's man. Got a lot of freaky work. He, there was a, you know, there's another video going around where he's comparing a Selly to losing a girl. Yeah, I've been through mad Sellys, man. It's kind of like losing a girl. I think he was with, he might have been with the million dollars with the game. Gilly looks at Waller, he's like, that's how you felt? <laughs> <laughs> how Waller respond? No, 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 no. <laughs> but I don't think me got it. <laughs> I don't think we got that. Gilly was like, they want drums on him. So he, put, he put it on wall. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, nah, 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 nah. I, I felt like I lost a homie. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what I'm saying. Why he say that? I don't know why he said that, man. That's funny. I don't know why he said that, man. I don't even really want to fuck with the gang, just me and the gang like 24 bitch. We in the spot like 24 D, just once, no, no, like 24 switch. I don't need niggas be talking about me, cause niggas be jealous, it's none of my business. All in they feelings are running their miles, acting like one of my bitches. No time for fake bitches. Just sit this ace of spade with these real bitches. We got switches on them things, call it kill switches. This the hen that God dealt me that can't deal with us. Cause I was down bad, now it's mentioned with the palm trees. Travis to the judge, just me and Ruby, shit beyond me. I ain't even prayed to live this way, this shit can't found me. Caught a million on my left, the perfect timing. Cause what's the problem to a schedule that keep changing? Remember I was down bad, ain't nobody do no favors. I'm like, where was y'all at? When I was grinding, them cave down. Guess it all was worth it. Where was y'all at when I was grinding? Stomach caved in. Double down. Guess it all was worth it. It was. Not to end the song. Am I tweaking? That was some of Meek's best music. You're a joker. Well, you don't like the style. But yeah. this is this is the style of the era. Yeah, the fact that he the fact that he did this style killed it. That was better than the Dirk song. Oh no, no question. No question. That's what I'm saying. No he, he bodied this shit. Not even a question. But for me, it can only be so good because the style it's like listen to country. Oh wow, this is the best country. When's the last time heard? you heard a song the style that's good? Never. Not from Young Boy. Not yeah, from never. Lil Dirk. Never, never. Not never. from Rod Wave. But I, I mean, I wouldn't say the song is good. I good. think it's good for the style. It had every element you needed. It had... He slow walked you in the beginning, really talking his shit. Then he hit you with the auto-tune chorus, gave you, gave you some lit shit. Then the beat dropped and started going crazy, and he's rapping fast. It's so crazy that I never knew Meek had that ability to do auto-tune. And then, you know, he just strips all the auto-tune away. He just starts rapping, and it sounds just as good. Yeah, um... One thing I'm very thankful for in this song is that when he was rapping, he was rapping. And he rapped a lot. So I didn't get too much auto-tune. Like, even even when he was done with the rap, here comes the chorus. It's not, bro, he didn't repeat it two, three times. It wasn't a super long, it was just, it just, it was just the carry even, of the he song. He didn't even put the bridge again. Yes, it was just to carry the song off, and then that's how he ended. It was a bad ad lib, but. But you do know Travis Scott, his favorite artist. Uses rap, uses auto tune during his raps. No problem with doing that, but it's just funny that he has the ability to do both now. Who me, bro? Yeah. I mean, he took a page out of Drake's book. You gotta borrow from the youngins. Mm. Stay a little relevant. I don't call him the youngins, but the did. younger artist. Drake or Drake's not. You no, saying not he got Drake, it from Drake's book? Like, no. Dirt, oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's no reason he shouldn't have that ability. Because niggas have been doing auto-tune for like 20 years, so, you know, it's not like it's new. He just chose not to do it because maybe he never saw an iteration of it that appealed who, to his crowd. Who but. do you think revolutionized the way it was used? Revolutionized the way it was used? The way it's used today. Probably T-Pain. No, no, no. Lil Wayne? No, no. There were people that used it like T-Pain, and it never really sounded that good. I'm talking about the way it's used today with the SoundCloud rappers and the lit rappers, the... The drug trappy rappers. It wasn't used Future? like that back then. Future? If you think about Future, that's not a bad answer, but if you think about Future, bro, he came on the game with, Turn off the lights! I knew you boy. That was heavy, heavy auto tune. It wasn't as melodic and rappy as his later stuff. It felt like he had to learn too. The future that came out with Turn Off the Lights was a totally different dude. Maybe maybe it was an emergent. You don't want to admit it. It was Uzi. Could be. I think it was Uzi, man. Could be. I might be wrong, but let me know what you think in the comments. Who really revolutionized and came out with this current era of Autotune style? I don't even know if that's true, though. I think it was him. 
This nigga started copying them. Why did why Uzi get hot? Oh, money get long, money longer. What was that like twenty thirteen? No, twenty sixteen. Twenty sixteen. That wasn't no twenty sixteen. That's when Uzi started bopping up. Love is Rage Two came out in twenty seventeen. Yeah, he blew up within like a year, maybe twenty fifteen. He blew up with like in a year and a half. I remember listening to Uzi when I was in high school. I graduated high school in twenty fifteen. Remember, we would go to the park, and I remember listening to, I remember, like, you would play it on your, on your jam box while we were playing basketball. Maybe you're right. Hmm. Maybe it was a little bit earlier than that. Maybe 2014? Because I'm, I'm trying to think of it in comparison to Travis, and I'm saying Travis reached his powers in, on Rodeo, where he, he established it. Oh, not okay. really. Where he kind of established what Travis sounds like. Yeah. That was 2015. So I'm going, it kind of depends on when Uzi came out with his thing. But, but you know, if you said Uzi, I'm not mad at Uzi. Either way, I'm impressed with me. I see he's uh, he's leveling up his ability. Might be a little too late. Once, the, once these masses have a writing on you, it's over. Once the writing's on the wall, man, man, it's tough. When niggas think you're an Illuminati industry plan, it's tough to get away from that, man. You got to make some good music to get away from that shit. That's a, that's a sign of the times, man. Well, when you make music this good, you start making me want to vouch for you. The most I can say is, hey, the music's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about anything else. I'll give this song a seven. I'll also give it a seven, but I have to say, usually a, a, a song of this style cannot get above a six and a half. Hater. The only reason why I'm giving it a seven is because I think I've given a song of this style six and a half before, but this song blows it out of the water. So I would actually retroactively downgrade all those songs, <laughs> but that's too much work. So I'm going to give this a seven. I'm going to give it a seven. I would never add it to my playlist though. All right. Fair enough. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. We're going to catch you in the next video. Peace out. Peace.